Managing your research projects is easy. Let me show you. Projects are specially designed to help you centralize your research data, organize your findings, and share insights easily. First, let's create a project. It could be research about a specific feature, a hypothesis, maybe you are updating your personas, or just trying to understand a customer problem. Once you have named your project, you can add a quick description so your team members can quickly identify what your project is about. A project is made up of three sections, the inbox, the analysis, and the summary section. The inbox is where all your raw data goes. You can upload interview transcriptions, research notes, survey results, videos, pictures, and any other data point you are planning to analyze later. You can also track feedback that is relevant to your research project automatically. For example, if you connect different integrations to your account, you can automate the tracking of certain keywords and send any feedback that matches those keywords straight into your project inbox. That way, you can make sure you don't miss anything important. Once you have collected all your data, it's time to analyze it. You can start making sense of your data by highlighting any piece of text and assigning tags to it. This way, you can start identifying themes and patterns in your initial findings. You are not limited to just using tags. You can also assign properties and sentiment to add more context to your text snippets. The snippets that have been classified will be automatically sent to the analysis section. In the analysis section, you can start organizing your findings into high-level groups. This is where the sense-making process takes place. At the beginning of your analysis, you will see all your findings or snippets in the ungrouped column in your analysis board. You can see the classification behind each snippet by clicking the eye icon. From there, you can start organizing your findings in different high-level groups. These groups help you build another layer of abstraction during the analysis process. You can change the color of the group so it is easier to visualize the different themes you identified, and you can also move snippets between groups easily. You can also create stories from your groups. You can think about stories as mini blogs that help you capture your learnings and share insights with your team and the entire organization. You can add examples of customer quotes, videos, charts, attachments, and any other data point that may help your team members get all the context they need to learn from your research and make better decisions. As your analysis process continues, you will end up with a couple of stories. These stories can be shared separately or they can be grouped into a project summary. This is especially helpful if you are working on a large study and generated many stories for your analysis. When you are ready, you can share your summary or individual stories with your team. You have full control over how your team accesses stories. As your team continues to work on research projects, more stories will be generated. All these stories can be found in the Stories section. Your account has unlimited read-only users, which means you can share the stories generated by your team with as many people as you want within the organization. Enjoy HQ helps you not only share insights easily, but also helps you connect the dots. You can easily link multiple stories and start building connections between your research work and any other insights generated from research projects. Over time, you will build a learning graph with the knowledge you generate about your users. Enjoy HQ helps you make the most out of your research projects.